Indiana has the second highest rate of new cancer cases in the nation, at least that's according to the Centers for Disease Control. Well, the one that takes the most lives here is lung cancer, followed by breast, prostate, colorectal, and pancreatic cancers. Medical reporter Meg Ferris joining us now in studio with an announcement that can help people with cancer, right Meg? Yes, and along with that scary diagnosis of hearing you have cancer, there are concerns about having to leave your home and loved ones for treatment and the financial burden of living away as well. Now today's news may help. It's been a couple of years in the making. Thursday morning, it became reality. There's a new partnership, the Oxner MD Anderson Cancer Center of Southeastern Louisiana. We're about to save lives together, so we should have a energy in this room and be excited. The partnership is one of seven in the U.S. and will operate out of seven Oxner sites in St. Tammany, Baton Rouge, Uptown Kenner, the West Bank, and on the main campus in Jefferson at the Gail and Tom Benson Cancer Center. One in three Americans will have an invasive cancer in their lifetime, and there is a growing need for more specialty services that allow patients to stay close to their families. What this means for patients is a chance to try emerging treatments close to home. I believe one of the most exciting parts of it will be expanding access to clinical trials and new therapies years before those therapies become the standard of care. Just 15 years ago, uh, at an event like this, people would be saying to each other, why is it that the immune system doesn't recognize the first cancer cell? Why can't we program the immune system to fight cancer? Well, good news, we can. And it will mean the hiring of more nurses and doctors so cancer patients can see surgeons, medical and radiation oncologists in one day and leave day one with a treatment game plan. If you can stay at home, get a give a better chance of getting a good night's sleep, um, maybe continue working in some way, right? That's the, the simple thing. Now, this new Oxner partnership gives cancer patients even more options. Already, there are nearly 150 cancer clinical trials across more than four dozen Louisiana and Mississippi hospitals. Now, that's part of the Gulf South Clinical Trials Network. That's an LSU health-run program at many of the local LCMC hospitals and across the state. And by the way, Oxner is recruiting right now infusion nurses. All right, Mac, thank you.